Hi, it's Netta here with Hollywood Junket, and we're here for the season 17 So You Think You Can Dance Hollywood Auditions. We are here with Robert Roldan from season 7 of So You Think You Dance. Yes, Robert Roldan is also a former all-star as well. So we wanted to check in and ask you, in what capacity will you be helping um, on, on the show this season? Well, um, I started as a contestant, I became an all-star, and then I choreographed um, season 15 and 16, but now I am an associate producer on the show, so I've kind of gone through almost every stage you could possibly go through on the show, and um, yeah, the production team asked me to be a part of production uh, season 16, but this is my official like uh, title as an associate producer on season 17. That's awesome, and what a privilege it is to be an all-star. Congratulations to you for that. Um, so what do you think made you an all-star, and like, what are you guys looking for in future all-stars? Um, I think uh, the biggest thing when it comes to an all-star is being a mentor and a support system for the current contestant, um, understanding like what they need and knowing that you are giving uh, an opportunity to, some, uh, to someone through the competition to become better than they've already been right because of um, the experience that you have as a contestant on the show you take that and you use it in the space when you're with the contestant so for an all-star it's super important to be able to be a mentor but also a wonderful dance partner you know it's those those things are super super important awesome. yeah and um, also I know a couple seasons back you guys would award um, America's favorite dancer mm -hmm. so I was wondering can we expect that you know I know it may have been a lot of changes with the pandemic and the hiatus but can we expect that this season? Well, I think the thing about So You Think You Dance that will never change is America votes for their favorite dancer. Not necessarily the best dancer, but their favorite dancer. Yeah. That will never change. Because mm. I think when you look at So You Think, you think like, oh, I, I'm voting for someone, right? Yeah. And we always want that. So that will never change. So you will see America's favorite dancer by the end of the season. Awesome. Okay. And what what advice would you give dancers who are strong in one genre, but maybe not, may not be strong in another genre of dance? Get your booty in class. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, it's super important to always be able to be malleable on the show. Um, it tests your limit as a dancer. Uh, it's one of the hardest things I ever went through, to be honest. Uh, um, it taught me so much about myself as a dancer and a human. Um, but I think uh, if you are really strong in, say, just one one lane, it's not going to be enough, right? It can only take you so far. Like it, I can say, like Cyrus from season nine, he was our animation dancer who got to the finale. He didn't really train in a lot of other styles, but he did the work beforehand before he got to the show. Yeah. So by the time he was on the show, he was able to adapt and he used his, his brain and his eyes and his heart to really understand that he might not be the best, but he's going to give his best effort. And ultimately, it did amazing things for him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so lastly, what changes can we expect? as the audience to see this season coming out of a pandemic and the three-year hiatus as well? Well, some things I can't say yet. You're going to have to wait and find out. But there's going to be a couple format changes. Uh, the way that we put dancers through uh, stages on the show, um, we're going to switch things up a little bit that way. So um, you'll see uh, different sides of the dancers throughout the audition process. And also when we get to the actual um, stage shows, there will be a little bit of format change there. So there's a little bit more jeopardy, a little bit more... Uh, drama I guess you could say in the way that we do things but also at the same time um, putting the dancers through um, different paces to see different sides of them which is really really exciting I wanted to ask you hmm, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> all right so mm -hmm. is there any particular choreographers you'd like to work with or you like to see come to the show this season okay um, I will always say Manny Moore Mandy Moore, she choreographed La La Land. She's been a part of So You Think You Dance since season three. Um, there is no one like her. She is like uh, a superhuman to me. She's currently in London uh, choreographing Snow White, uh, then live action. So um, I'm hoping to see her through this season. I don't think that we'll um, not see her. Right. Wink, okay. wink, you know. Um, but Mandy Moore for sure. Um, also, also Luther Brown. Luther Brown is uh, a force to be reckoned with. He's 
one of my favorite uh, hip hop choreographers that we've ever had on the show. So um, he's like heart and soul to me. That's so awesome. yeah. Well, thank you so much, and we're gonna be on the lookout for Luther Brown and Manny Moore. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs>